you just met an amazing girl and got her number. Now you want to text her in a way that keeps her interested and gets her chasing you. But where do you start? How often should you text? What do you even say to get her attention without coming on too strong? Welcome to the Woman Signals channel. If you're new here and haven't subscribed yet, be sure to tap that subscribe button to get more valuable insight about dating advice. Hit subscribe now, and let's begin. Texting a girl you recently met can be tricky. If done right, it can lead to dates, a relationship, and more. Do it wrong, and you risk fizzling out before you ever get started or even worse, getting yourself labeled a creep. Luckily, with some planning and the right mindset, you can craft texts that prime her emotional pumps, make her smile, and have her eagerly awaiting your next message. This article will break down step by step exactly how to text a girl you just met to ramp up attraction and get her chasing you. Lay the groundwork. Make a great first impression. The key to getting a girl to chase you starts with making a stellar first impression when you meet and get her number. If she doesn't already feel comfortable around you and attracted when you meet, she likely won't be eagerly texting you back no matter how perfectly crafted your texts are. When you initially meet a girl you want to text, make sure you give her strong eye contact and smile. Speak slowly, confidently, and warmly introduce yourself. Find things in common you can relate to one another on. Display social proof by being outgoing with those around you. Occasionally break touch barriers appropriately. And perhaps most importantly, make her laugh. Humor sparks attraction. Making a phenomenal first impression primes a girl to be delighted when she later sees your name pop up on her phone. Once you've made that strong introduction, move things forward by smiling and saying, I have to get going, but we should continue this conversation. Let me get your number and we'll meet up for coffee or other casual date. If you've built enough initial chemistry, this should go smoothly. But don't fret if she politely declines giving her number. Some girls prefer to get to know guys more first. Compliment her and part warmly. You've still brightened her day. Now once you've gotten her digits, you're ready to ramp things up over text. Know when to text her. Timing is crucial when figuring out how to text a girl you just met. Text too soon and you risk seeming overeager. Too late and she may forget who you are or lose interest. As a general rule of thumb, wait approximately 48 hours after getting her number to text. This gives her time to wonder about you while not killing momentum from your initial chemistry. The only exception is if logistics dictate a quicker text. Like if you set definite coffee plans while getting her number. In that case, text the next day to firm up details. Otherwise, give things a couple days to breathe before reaching out. When you finally do text, reference your previous interaction to remind her of the connection. Craft an attention-grabbing first text. With timing set, now you need to craft your actual opening text. This first message has to accomplish a lot. Remind her of who you are, spark her curiosity, and intrigue her to reply. Here's a formula for an opening text that checks all those boxes. Reminder, plus, callback humor, plus, intriguing question, an example. Hey Amy. This is Paul, the produce juggler from the farmer's market. I'm craving avocados now thanks to you lol. Quick question. Are avocados actually berries or am I completely off base here? This text reminds her who you are makes her smile remembering your produce juggling act, then hooks her curiosity with an offbeat question she'll want to respond to. Tailor the specifics to your interaction, but this general template works incredibly well as an engaging opener. After you hit send, the ball is in her court to return your text. Resist the urge to bombard her with more messages. Patience here pays dividends down the road. Which brings us to Use proper texting cadence. One text faux pas guys make again and again is texting a girl way too much right away. This overwhelms her and screams over eagerness. 
You want to instead use proper text cadence. That means well-timed spacing between messages that leaves her wanting more. As a rule of thumb, mirror her texting frequency and response times early on. If she normally texts back within a couple hours, do the same rather than shooting desperate texts five minutes apart. And don't bombard her with a dozen rapid-fire questions in a row. Ask one intriguing question, let the conversation unfold organically, then exit on a high note when her interest seems peaked rather than dragging things out. If she hasn't replied to your last text within 48 hours, drop one more feeler text. Something like, did you get lost in those avocado berries? Make it playfully accusatory as if she forgot to respond. If you still don't hear back after that, sadly it's time to cut your losses for now. Any more texts at this point will be seen as needy and push her further away. Have patience and persist without being overly persistent. When used properly, good text cadence builds her investment stroke by stroke rather than flooding her interest all at once. Text conversation starters and topics. Okay, so you know when to text a girl you met in general cadence rules. Now what do you actually say in your texts to win her over? The goal is to spark an engaging, flirty conversation around topics that intrigue her. This lets you display your intelligence, humor, and problem-solving abilities, catalysts for attraction to grow. Here are some magnetic conversation starters you can use. 1. Callback humor. Reference something goofy or awkward that happened when you met. Example. Have they revoked your produce juggling license yet or can you still sneak back to the farmer's market? 2. A. Uh, this or that question. Pose a fun this or that question related to her interests. Example. Quick. Would you rather live one year in the past or one year in the future? 3. A thought experiment. Craft an intriguing, what-if, scenario and get her curious feedback. Example. Okay, hypothetical scenario. What if babies could talk right from birth and had adult intelligence from day one? 4. An ethical dilemma. Present her with a fun ethical conundrum and see her reaction. Example. You find a wallet with $1,000 cash and the owner's ID. Do you keep the money or track them down to return it? 5. A playful accusation. Bust her with a silly, I caught you, text about something you noticed. Example. Aha. I knew you paid more attention to that juggling than you let on. You didn't clap for any of the other acts. Sprinkle these conversation hooks throughout your text interactions. They grab her attention, reveal compatibility clues, and help you escalate investment. Flirt and banter over text. As your text exchanges build momentum, seamlessly blend playful flirting and banter into the mix. This builds sexual tension critical for getting her to chase you. Here are some quick tips for amping up flirtiness. Tease her playfully. Show you're not afraid to bust her chops a bit. Example. I thought farmers market shoppers were supposed to be health conscious. And yet there you were scarfing down hot french fries. Compliment her smarts. Praise her intelligence when she nails one of your thought experiments. Example. Wow, you solved that ethical dilemma masterfully. I'm kind of scared how easily you'd hide the evidence from the cops. Get curious. Ask her flirty, getting to know you, questions to hint at intimacy. Example. All right, if you could switch bodies with me for a week, what's the first thing you'd do? Imaginative role play. Have playful banter imagining your characters in hypothetical situations. Example. Ha, huh, okay, you're the space station commander now. In that case, Lieutenant Dan, I order you to cook me dinner tonight. Blend these flirtatious ingredients into your text game to amplify her investment. She'll eat up the validation and chase that thrill. Ask her out again. You've texted her something clever. She's laughing, flirting back with you, and engaged. Now what? Ask her out on another date. 
Don't drag the texting on forever without pulling the trigger in person. Eventually, she'll lose interest if it stays purely digital. You need to leverage the spark of your text chemistry into plans to meet up again. After a particularly energetic text volley, typically after four to six message exchanges, drop one of these feeler texts. This has been fun. We should continue our adventures over drinks later this week. What's your schedule look like? Or, great info exchange here lol. But I'm thinking we need to take this conversation offline. Meet me for coffee Wednesday afternoon? Phrase it playfully yet confidently. Make clear you're interested in her while also keeping things light. If she agrees to meet up, lock down logistics in your next couple texts then taper off the conversation. Leave her anticipation building until your date. And if she politely declines but seems to still be enjoying your banter? Continue being charming over text and try again for date number two a little later once investment mounts further. Rinse and repeat this process until you're regularly seeing her in person fueling attraction through intimate dates. That's when the real magic happens. Avoid common, nice guy, text pitfalls. We've covered what to do to get her chasing you by text. Now let's discuss what not to do. Avoid these common, nice guy, texting mistakes. Texting too much. Bombarding her with a dozen texts before she replies to your first is a surefire way to scare her off. Use proper text cadence and mirror her frequency. Complimenting her looks. Telling a girl, hey you're beautiful, right off the bat before she's invested comes off as creepy. Focus instead on complimenting her personality and quirks. Getting overly serious. Having long pencil tapping debates over text sucks the fun out of things. Keep it light and playful early on. Asking interview questions. Shooting her a string of boring questions like, how was your day, will make her drier than the Sahara. Get her imagination going instead with thought experiments. Straying into nice guy territory with these text faux pas almost always backfires. So avoid them at all costs. Summing up how to text a girl you just met. And there you have it. A complete step-by-step -step guide on how to text a girl you just met to ramp up her interest and get her chasing you. Here's a quick recap. Make a stellar first impression when you meet and get her number. Then wait approximately 48 hours before reaching out over text. Craft an opening text that reminds her of your connection while also being playful and intriguing. Use proper text cadence, mirroring her frequency early on while also occasionally mixing in well-timed radio silence to build anticipation. Blend humor, thought experiments, ethical dilemmas, and playful accusations to spark captivating conversations. Flirt, banter, role-play, and sprinkle in strategic compliments to stoke her emotional investment. Then finally leverage your text chemistry into a physical date where you can continue escalating in person. Rinse and repeat while avoiding overly eager nice guy text behaviors. Do this and in no time she'll be the one chasing you down wondering why you haven't messaged recently. So get out there, make some sparks happen in real life, grab those digits, and start crafting the perfect first text. Your future crush is waiting for her phone to light up. If you found these tips helpful and want to explore more advice on relationships and dating, consider subscribing to the Woman's Signals channel. You'll find valuable insights and guidance there. Don't forget to hit the like button and share your experiences in the comment section. Your input matters. And if you'd like to show some extra support for the channel, consider giving us a super thanks. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, take care and goodbye. Ooh. Mm -hmm.